we looked at uh, audio cabling and Reason's general cabling systems earlier on in our Reason workshops, but it's worth revisiting here uh, just when we're talking about sound. Every audio track module in the rack, uh, if you spin it round, you'll see it has various inputs and outputs on the back. Um, it doesn't anymore. Reason used to have a direct cable connection from each module to the mixer, but now, uh, because Reason's mixer is different, these audio track modules connect directly to the mixer, and you can't physically pick up the cables anymore that link them to the mixer. Basically, the way to think of these is, is that this audio track is essentially the same as this channel strip. Think of them as two ends of the same piece of equipment. That's the best way to think about it. Um, if you want, you are able to uh, disconnect any audio track from Reason's Mixer by using these. We'll talk about that in a little, a little while uh, in the next video, in fact. Um, but it's worth just understanding uh, the way that this cabling works. So here, for example, we have a, a synth and um, its audio output is being sent to its mix module. And again, a mix module is the same as an audio track, really, in the sense that it sends its signal straight to the main mixer. But with any, uh, with any device, you can right click on an output and you get some useful options here. Firstly, you can scroll straight to a connected device if you like. Uh, you can disconnect it. And perhaps most usefully of all, if you move the mouse over any of these options down here, you can see the available destinations for that port. Now this is an audio output, so that could be sent to any sort of compatible input uh, in our project. And you can see that our audio track, it does have some uh, audio inputs, although it's more geared towards sending sound out, whereas our hardware interface and our master section has lots of available inputs where we could send this sound if we wanted to. Um, CV, which we talk about in the, the final section, is slightly different, uh, although that involves the same kind of system, except it doesn't show audio ports, it shows control voltage ports, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So to understand wiring and reason, audio wiring, these mix modules and audio track modules send their sound straight to the mixer. They can be disconnected if you like. Um, Next, let's have a look at the audio output module and uh, input module and how you might go about setting up Reason to work with a hardware mixer. 